Welcome to the Futures Lab. So today, we are going to be putting a boss battle into a scratch game. So the game that I'm going to be putting the boss battle into is my Space Invaders game, which is the subject of the last series of tutorials that I did on this YouTube channel. So you can follow that series of YouTube um, tutorials if you want to make this Space Invaders game, or I'll put a link in a pinned comment on this video where you can find the completed Scratch project. Just click on that Remix button and then you're all ready to go for today's session with putting this boss battle in. So what we have here is a pretty simple Space Invaders game where you shoot these bats, which are our Space Invaders. Um, we have a bullet sprite that comes out of our player sprite, which is the rocket ship and each time we kill all of the bats we move on to the next level so we want a certain level to be a boss battle so let's go through to the code side of things so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create our boss sprite now i'm going to use the octopus or as i like to call it the octo boss so go to the bottom right corner of the screen Click on that Choose a Sprite button, that little cat face there. You'll get this screen here. Now you can look through or you can just type in Octopus and click on that Sprite. Now I already like the size of this octopus. This is pretty good. Um, I'm going to rename this to the Octoboss. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to program our bullets to hit the Octoboss. So click on the bullet sprite. Now we already have some code in the bullet sprite underneath when I start as clone. If you look down, you should find this if touching bat, then wait 0.05 seconds, delete this clone. So all we need to do is add in an or Octoboss into this if then statement. So to do that, go to Operators, the green category. Look down until you find the OR operator, something or something. Go to Sensing. Get the first one, touching mouse pointer. Click that white triangle. Make sure you select Octoboss. And then drag that into the six-sided shape, that sort of socket on one of the sides of the OR. Do the same thing with the touching bat and then take this whole thing, drag it by the green bit and put it into that gap in between the if and the then. So now what you should have is if touching octopus or touching bat, then wait 0.05 seconds, delete this clone. That's exactly what we want. Okay, that's good. The next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to the bat sprite. Now there's a lot of code in here, but what we need is here with define next level. So have a look for define next level. Now this is the code that makes a new grid of bats or space invaders every time um, the, ne the next level happens. So we need to make sure that when we get to a certain level, which is going to be the boss battle level, it doesn't make um, all of this, all of the bats. So what we need to do is we need to go to control. We need to look for if then, drag out that if then, and this needs to go right underneath define next level. So it's around all of the code that's underneath define next level. So can you see where I've got it here? Let go. So now you should have another if then that's around everything that's part of define next level. Um, and what we need to do is, in fact, um, let's, can you see where we've got if bats remaining less than one? Right click on that less than, duplicate it, get rid of the bats remaining because we need another less than operator. And we're going to need to go to variables, the orange category on the left. Look for the rounded level variable in the top left corner, drag out level and put it in that first socket. So now we have if level less than 
And this is at, at this point we decide what level do you want your boss battle on? You can change this later if you want. For now, let's say level five. So if the level is less than five, then create all the space invaders every time it's a new level. Okay, that's good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a cheat code that allows us to skip to level five so that we don't have to play four levels of Space Invaders every time we want to test our boss battle. Um, so we're going to go to Control, the orange category on the left. We're going to look for... Um, no, we need to go to Events. We need to look for when Space Key is pressed. Drag out when Space Key pressed. Click on that white triangle next to Space. Now this is going to be your cheat code button. So I'm just going to make it Q because it's in the top left corner of the keyboard. It's nice and easy to find. Um, so when Q key pressed, what we want to do is go back to variables, get set um, variable two. And so we want to change this variable, click on this white triangle to level variable. So we should now have set level to, and then we're gonna click on that zero and type in five. So when we hit the Q button, it's gonna set the level to level five, which is our boss battle level, right? The other thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we delete any of the bat clones that are still around. So go to control, look near the very bottom of the control codes for delete this clone and put it on the bottom. So now we should have when Q key pressed, set level to five, delete this clone. Let's give that a try, shall we? So hit go. Um, if you press Q, all of the space invaders should disappear and the level in the top left corner of the game should say five. All right, that's good. That's exactly what we want. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to program the Octoboss to be able to be hit by the bullets. Uh, the bullets should be um, hitting the Octoboss and disappearing, but what we need to do is we need to make it so that the Octoboss gets hurt um, when the bullets um, collide with it. So click on your Octoboss um, sprite. We're going to put in some code here. So we're going to go to events, the yellow category, drag out when green flag clicked. I'm going to make that nice and big so you can see it. Now the first thing that we need to do is when the game starts we need to hide the octoboss so that it only comes out when we've hit the boss battle level. So go to looks, look for hide. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to make a variable for how much um, health the boss has. So go to variables, the dark orange category, click on make a variable, type in boss health, and then press okay. Grab out a set variable to, click on that white triangle. We need this to say set boss health, to let's say 100. Set boss health to 100. Um, we need to make sure that the boss starts in, has a good starting place. Um, so go to motion, the dark blue category in the top left corner, drag out, go to X and Y. We're gonna set X to zero and Y to 100. So it's gonna to go to, I think the middle of the screen, sort of around about here should be fine. Okay, um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a wait one seconds. Go to um, control, look for wait one seconds, put that in underneath. Now the reason we're putting this in is because if you're halfway through the boss battle in your previous game and you hit um, and you hit the green flag, um, we need to make sure that the boss um, doesn't start up again um, because of the way that Scratch works. 
um, and the order in which it does things. There's other ways to get around this problem, but wait one second will work perfectly fine. And then we're gonna put in a wait until, drag out wait until, put that underneath our wait one seconds. Um, go to operators, we need a more than operator, which is this one here, which is a space and then an arrow pointing towards the 50. The arrow is pointing right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to variables. We're gonna drag out our level variable, put it in that first space in our more than operator. And we're gonna type in, uh, we're gonna click on that 50 and type in four. So it's gonna say, so it should say now, wait until level is more than four. What's one more than four? It's five. And remember, five is when our boss battle starts. So we don't want the boss to start doing anything until it's supposed to, until the boss battle is supposed to start. Okay, and so then what we're gonna do is we're going to go to events. We're gonna grab a forever, put it underneath. We're gonna to go to looks. We're gonna grab a show, put it inside the forever. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to make a my block. So go to my blocks, the red category on the um, bottom of the category is there. Click on make a block. We're gonna call this collide with bullet. Okay. Move that define collide with bullet off by itself somewhere and drag out collide with bullet and put it inside the forever. So the way that we're doing this is this is gonna be our main loop. That means that the Octoboss, no matter what it's doing, will always be able to be shot by your bullets. And the reason that I've put it into a my block is so that you know what this particular um, uh, code does and if you want you could add in more things to that forever loop um, more behaviors more things to check um, we're going to build on this in the future so we need to go to define collide with bullet we need to go to control we need to drag an if then out and put it underneath define collide with bullet we need to go to sensing the light blue category we need to grab out touching mouse pointer Put it in between the if and the then. Click on that white triangle. We need to change this to bullet. So now you should have if touching bullet, then. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put in some similar code to the code that we put in with the space invaders. Um, we're gonna make the boss flash white for a, just a, a split second. And we're also going to make sure that the boss health goes down each time it gets shot. Okay, um, so we're gonna go to um, looks. We're gonna grab a set color effect to zero, drag that out, put it in the gap, click on that white triangle next to color and change it to brightness. I'll make that nice and big for you to see it. Uh, click on the zero and type in 100. So we're gonna set brightness effect to 100. Then we're gonna go to control. We're gonna grab a wait one seconds, put it right underneath set brightness effect to 100. Click on the one, this is one second is far too long. Let's type in 0 0.05, perfect. Um, we're gonna go to variables, the dark orange category. And we're gonna grab a change variable by, drag that out, put it right underneath our wait 0.05 seconds. Click on that white triangle and select boss health. And we're gonna change it by minus one. And then we're gonna to go to um, looks again. And we're gonna look for clear graphic effects. Drag that out and put it underneath change boss health by one. So let's test it. This is all the code that we need for colliding with bullet. Um, let's, I'm gonna make this nice and big so you guys can see it. 
let's hit go. So our Space Invaders game starts as normal. Now we could play all the way through to level five if we wanted, but let's use our cheat code. Let's hit Q. All right, and the boss appears. And now we can shoot the boss and the boss health is going down. Perfect, excellent. So if you want to adapt this for your game, um, think about when you want your boss battle to start. Think about what bits of code you need to turn off once the boss battle starts. Think about which bits of code you need to turn on when the boss battle starts. Um, and next session, we're going to program our boss to do stuff and attack the player back. Hope you've had fun. Leave comments in the description if you have any other games you'd like us to do in the future. Um, let me know if you enjoy the new format, a bit more brief. Um, otherwise, I shall see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Be cool to each other. We'll see you next time.